hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel it's now a norm probably because we are still nigerians put together in one uh, a, a lot of regions tend to either you know support or criticize other region based on one or two findings they feel is not functional in that region and it has also encouraged you know one or two regions you know giving support both morally and otherwise to other region well in this case, Dindibos are actually lashing out to the northern group or northern region or northern group to stay clear of their region. And they have their major reasons why they're saying that. And they also are forced to some of the things they have mentioned concerning their region. And they're not joking at all. They are not joking at all. But before we go into the newspaper to find out what it is the northern group have said concerning Dindibo and their region and why they are actually doing politics in the region of Ndibu. I'm talking about Southeast, you know, doing politics uh, Southwest is not doing politics in Southeast and why the Ndibos are wanting them to stay very clear out of their region. Would like to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you will see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on youtube well the popular hanez and debo youth council worldwide oyc has warned a group known as concern northern forum cnf to stop the unwarranted interference in the political issues of the southeast and face their increasing insecurity issues or else they should be ready to contend with them mm. report shows that has it that the cnf that's um that's ohanez in the youth council but now the cnf here means concern northern forum that cnf is report has that the cnf in a press statement demanded for the immediate arrest of former governor of Imo state rogers okorocha the president general for Igbo group mazu oku nabuike reacted further as he warned that they would not condone further cases where faceless groups in the north would be abusing Igbo leaders for any reason he added that it's high time that North minded their own business and keep themselves busy with the total collapse of security than being more concerned with additional trash against a Reverend Iwo leader, Owele Rogers or Coral Chap. He warned that this faceless middlesome interlopers and their sponsor would disease from their wicked art or be ready for them. He lamented that some credible organizations in the north cannot be used for such a dirty job and would not condone a, a, a letdown to their integrity. Therefore, he advised them to confront bandits and other terrorists threatening the existence and peace of the north and allowing Debo to handle their affairs. He also pleaded on Imo state traditional rulers, especially those of them from Olu extraction, to concentrate on their duty as custodian of culture and tradition that are being distracted by political war between Okorocha and Imo state governor Hopu Zadema, so it doesn't affect the development of the state. Mm. In fact, in some comments here, um, a lot of uh, persons have actually gone further to what in the commentary has actually gone further to also remind the Northern uh, Group and the Northerners as a whole that when it comes to corruption, that it didn't begin with the Indibos. It never started with Roger Sowell or Korocha. They actually began in the days of Ganduje. I was wondering, why would they call him Ganduje? In fact, they went for that to even call him Gandola. And that quickly reminded me of the video we saw during the <laughs> then Godwin, Godwin Obasaki's uh, campaign in in Edo State when Ganduji came down to came down to um um Edo State that's been there's this uh, media uh, stuff they kept in their streets and uh, I kept on playing all the time when Ganduji came into town and it was so bad. That, you know, they kept on showing the video where Ganduji was, you know, pocketing some nice dollars, you know, in his Babariga. I I was wondering what has Ganduji Ganduji got to do with Babariga and the pocketing of dollars and the election that was going on. So you know, they just kind of connected it to that 
He's coming in with Della to come and influence the vote of Edu and all that. But we all know how it went out. Went by the result was very favorable to uh, Godwin Obaseki, still the incumbent then and still the governor of Edo City now. But you know, that exposed a lot of um, corruption practices then. Okay, and now some of the correspondents in here, some of the uh, commenters in here, uh, are mentioning uh, that. Uh, you are talking about Ibu, at least for Okorocha, there was, was not caught on camera that he was pocketing some good dollars. But if you ask me, I think every region had a copy of one one issue or the other, one corrupt practices or the other. See, the, the Nigerian system is corrupt, okay? Now, if you put things that are working well in this system, even a thief, a thief only, Onyoshi, you understand, Barao cannot steal. If you put checks and balances, I'm talking about real checks and balances, and put men of integrity in the hands of affairs, everything will just will enter auto reset. Everybody will enter factory reset, auto reset. Things will begin. But the challenge is, will the system even want you to correct it? That's the problem. Will the people at the hands of affairs, do they want it corrected? That quickly reminds me of the no-fly zone that was actually uh, you know, issued in Zafara. And a lot of persons are saying, why would um, the state assembly of um, state Zafara not accept or agree with what is going on, uh, with what um, the federal government is trying to do to help out? Some persons are saying it's because it's a PDP state. Other persons are saying, no, it's not so. It's simply because um, that the, the no-fly zone, remember that when they take that gold or supply ammunition to these bandits, they take out gold in the process. And it was recorded that it was actually always done by helicopters. And, you know, you, a common man can afford a helicopter. That means this thing we're talking about is a big cartel done by elites. You know, and now when you say no-fly zone, that means you cannot supply ammunition and you also cannot take away the gold. Now, what would they be expecting that? The, even the state, state assembly should encourage it. So that, so that um, the, you know, there will be security in the land. But they're the one even getting angry. That why should the federal government put a no-fly zone in that area? In fact, Nigeria eh, is a special case. Only the Lord himself. We will try our bit. We will do our best. But only the Lord himself can help us out. But some persons will say, will the Lord come down here? And then we'll, he will use human being. But it could be you. It could be me. But let's not heat up the polity. Somehow we'll keep uh, correcting ourselves. As the day go by, but if you look at what the Ohanese youth are saying, it, they're not out of point. Go ahead, instead of lambasting and coming to Ndibos, go look. Insecurity is biting hard in the north. The hampering on what is worrying you. Every region have what disturbs them. Let Ndibos who hamper on what is disturbing them, and let the Yorubas hamper what is disturbing them. You can lend a voice or two, but it's not to come and condemn what is already going on. Okay, you can condemn, yes, but you're already standing in favor in some places. Some persons are saying simply because someone they want to go for presidency and they know they want him image his image tarnished, and that's why they're encouraging uh Hope Ozodima and they like to keep working on the way whether he's going for presidency or they're working against him. The truth is there was a corruption practice and there's always justice for every every or injustice done. There's always a price to pay for every evil done. That's what we're wrapping.